To make cake sandwiches, you gotta start by making a chocolate cake loaf, also known as a chocolate cakey loaf type thing, which is a cake that looks like a loaf but tastes like a cake but looks like a cake loaf but tastes nothing like bread. So we'll start by whipping up some homemade flour. We'll take 1.5 cups of that and put it in a bowl. Then we'll pour on one and a quarter cups of white sugar to create an idyllic white sand desert. Then we'll take three quarters of a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, which is now instantly sweetened from the beach. Then we'll need one teaspoon of baking soda. That goes in the bowl. Then we'll take a teaspoon of fine sea salt or ground salt, which is just sea salt that's forgotten where it came from. And we'll put that in a shot glass and then sprinkle it into the bowl. We'll scrape off a full cup of walnuts and Gravitron those into the bowl. Then take a half cup of dark chocolate chips and just eat those because they're delicious. Then take a half cup of dark chocolate slab and slam those through the bowl. Then we're going to sift the dry ingredients together with a fork. We do this to get more air into them. We're not trying to sift for, ooh, gold. Wait a second, that's not real gold, that's pyrite. Also known as dumb fuck gold. <laughs> Sucker. Now we'll take a fresh bowl and pour in one and a half cups of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Then we'll squeeze in a half cup of fresh vegetable oil. Then we'll use one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. You can use impure vanilla extract, but keep in mind that impure extract is going to hell, so it might contaminate your soul. And we'll take one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. Whoop. All right. And a quarter cup of raspberry jam. Now we're gonna whisk this all together till the oil's well combined. If you wanna do it at twice the speed in half the time, you can also use a set of whisk chucks. Now we're gonna take the dry stuff and make a wet stuff receptacle, also known as a cake pit. This divot is so that the wet ingredients feel more welcome by giving them a dry abrasive hug. One last power whisk to get more air in there. Then we'll pour this stuff inside and this is the only time you will ever hear me say this. Do not wang jangle. Ouch! We're gonna fold this until it's just combined. If you over wanglify it, it's not gonna be as fluffy, but also this loaf is dense as f so whatever. Now we'll prepare the loaf pan with cooking spray, which we probably should have already done. If you don't have any cooking spray, just take some unsalted butter and just smear it on the pan while going ch now we'll just pour that inside. Oh, also go back in time and preheat the undo to three fundo. And we'll throw that inside for 65 to 75 minutes or around 40 European minutes. See this door? Keep it shut for at least 60, 65 minutes before you check it. Every time you check it, you increase the cooking time. Imagine if the door to your room was an entire wall cracking open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So now let's clean up or just put everything in a bag and hide it under the sink. Hey, you know what this is? It's a doneness thermometer. When this comes out clean, it's done. If it's not clean, it's not done. Done, not done. Done, not done. Done, not done. Overdone, not done. Even if it's been two hours and your toothpick comes out with stuff sticking to it, then guess what? Your undo's broken. Done. Now if you serve this as a straight up cake loaf, don't forget to sprinkle eggshells around the perimeter so that non-vegans will know it's safe for them to eat. But since we've got a loaf, let's make sandwiches. Simply cut off a few slices of cake bread, put in some vanilla frosting, and blammo, cake sandwich. They're great for tricking fussy kids into eating more cake by telling them it's just regular dark brown nut bread. And if you're making this for someone's birthday, don't feel you have to do the cliche vertical candle thing. If it's an adult's birthday, it's way more respectful to use adult-sized candles. Also, you can serve the cake vertically. And then as the candles fall and start everything on fire, you give the person whose birthday it is a chance to save the day, which is the most fantastic birthday gift of all. Happy birthday to you. This video is sponsored by HelloFresh, which makes cooking really good meals at home a reality, even if you're not super comfortable in the kitchen. But if you are comfortable in the kitchen, the 20 plus weekly curated recipes can help you out of a rut if you wanna switch it up and learn something new. It's flexible so you can skip weeks if you need to or pick meals based on your food preference. Ooh, cheese millipedes. One thing I really like is the variety. I had this peanut stew, ribs, and this salmon all in the same week and I've definitely never cooked such a wide variety of food in one week before because I'm lazy. HelloFresh is now from $5.66 per serving. Get started with nine free meals. That's $90 off your first month of HelloFresh, including shipping. 
Go to HelloFresh.com and enter YSAC9. That's HelloFresh.com and enter YSAC9. Thank you. Goodbye.